Hello everyone, I'm Son of Beast, and I'm Mephone. As the regular season is officially complete, and now we are about to step in the, the NBA, NBA playoffs. playoffs on 2K Sports. It's next after this. <laughs> What's going on guys, Son of Beast here. We're back for another NBA playoff matchup. This time we got the Sixers and the Bulls. It's the fourth seed versus the fifth seed. It's the last matchup in game one before we head over to the Western Conference on the other side. And then we will have game two matchups ready to take up for a next spot. That's right. I also really noticed that the Sixers are, have won the finals in 2K21. But the question is, will they help them take the win in the second consecutive wins here in the NBA Finals? Or will it be the other team to try to take them around? And also, here on the sideline, I will also add someone here who knows to us. I guess that there is the only important thing. And that is true. OJ, welcome back. Well, thank you very much anyway. I guess I'll see you, well, guys, uh, taking a look at the commentators here. Of course, we got a great matchup here. Bulls and Sixers? Mm. It's been, been so long lately. Ooh. Wow, that might be one thing I've never seen it before. So, it's time to beat the uh, Game 9 lineups. Here we have Ayo Dazumdu, Alex Caruso, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, and Nikola Yusevich. And for the Sixers, we have James Harden, Tyrese Maxey, Matisse Feibel, Tobias Harris, and Joel Embiid, which of course you call him the process. I guess that really like that one. The best defensive player is doing very good so far at that moment. Hopefully Allen Iverson can do, do a lot much better with the, with the legend that handles it all. Let's head you over to the Wells Fargo Center as we start the first game. Guys, we are on our way to Philadelphia. That's right, yep, we do. We like to see how this game comes along. Let's get going. A it's a gorgeous look here at Wells Fargo Center, also a part of Philadelphia and a town that we love it here. And this is what we call it for. It's the start for the Sixers to make their progress in there. I think there might be some good uh, changes going on around here. But we might be seeing a lot of play ins that we are coming in through. Joel and me might be going for it. By Nikola Yusevich, we'll see. Here's Alec Lucas. He said, I don't start it, I just finish it. I'm a competitor. I don't love disrespecting people, but I love making them look silly on the basketball court. Dominating, winning, it's just fun to me. It's nothing personal, guys. Thanks, Ellie. We got a lot of great ways to say about them. The lineups are occurred as Joel Embiid and Nikola Vucevic are the key matchups in the center. Tobias Harris against DeMar DeRozan. Zach Levine against Matisse Feibel. And of course, it's by Umbo against James Harden. And Tyrese Maxey up against the other player that we usually haven't talked about it before. I forgot what the name is. Billy Donovan is the head coach. And yes, that's DeMar DeRozan that you're looking at. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to see this game come up. Well, you'll find out. A lot of things are turning out to be great. Sixers wins the tip-off here. And we are underway in Philadelphia. All filled up and ready to go. Harris has played over the last game of the season as they're playing with the with the season of the of the Nuggets. They have definitely made a win here so far. And without any other uh, choices of opinions, what is how does uh, Tobias Harris have come up here, guys? Uh, sometimes it's really that hard. Wow, I've never seen like uh, like Tobias Harris playing some couple of times out there. But the moment importantly that I would want to know, maybe there might be one. I like to see them how they, they get into it. And B working with a drive and they're in the paint. And B has got two buckets in this row to start with the first half of the quarter. I'm pretty sure that Joel and B really knows that he can definitely do that. I like that. And he gets rolled under here in the first foul called on Philadelphia. That'll be on Tobias Harris. 
And the play of Zach Levine, that drive was going to be very tumbled. But what happened? He went tumble barrel wall on a side. And that made him go to the free throw line to shoot two. The Bulls will be shooting their first free throws here for game one of the NBA playoffs since they haven't got too much effort here in the free throw lineup. The first free throw is good for Levine. And guys, for Levine, his play minutes consecutive on his run, and he has done a lot of hard uh, application here to make uh, the play in the, the All-Star, and of course the uh, the ultimate uh, player that turned out to be one of them. I guess that Zach Levine really loves that one, sure. Maybe that time, I think Zach Levine will try to work her way up to the next level. Yeah, I guess I would agree with you on me, though. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the players can definitely uh, help them out, but sometimes the players doesn't really help them take them back at all. Joel and B working on a great Drake layup. What a play on that one. DeMar DeRozan against Harris goes to Levine on five ball with a drive, bouncing across, and it goes with a defensive breakdown. The Chicago Bulls got an answer quick. They really need to keep their string in there. Close the gap, don't let them go in. Harden with the ball, pass to Harris. Back to Harden. Outside, Maurice. Maxi with a no good of a three-pointer outside. Now DeRozan, heading back to the attack, finds Levine. Five ball on the cover. The screen broke it up. Zach Levine will take his first three-pointer, and they're, they're going to trail it by one. Zach Levine, he knows the answer, and right away, that's a great play on the offense. Worked away with the three, and they're up on the board here, too. Almost lost the ball, but Tobias Harris recovers. Harden inside the paint, and it turns to be a travel violation as no shot won't count for Harden. That will be a first turnover on Philadelphia. Point guard here, James Harden, knows that he can definitely take on assets. Every season he does, maybe he has a lot more handle to make that crush, and sometimes it gets better. Usinich finding Levine, and Levine will take the layup. And they have the lead up by two to three. Maxi with the ball. Now he passes over to MB. Double man on him, but now it's five ball. Moves over to Maxi. Shoots around Caruso. Maxi, look at them go. And here's your first bucket, folks. Maxi's got his first points in this run for the first game in the playoffs. Tyrese Maxi really knows he's secret. I think we can do it. Tyrese Maxi with a foul, as this will be a second team foul on Philadelphia. New changes here for Chicago, as Dermano, uh, this mono is checked out. And the front three players are checked in and out. White outside, covered by Harding. The veteran man from University of North Carolina, trying to look for his run for every night. Now it's covered here by Harding. Pass off to Corkbots. Back to Harding. Right to Embiid. Embiid finds Courtney A. George J. Finishes up with the drive as Embiid gets the assist. And they're up by one. Great leadoff change. Not really well to, to try to keep it along there. But they really need to know how to get there. Scoop and drive here that turns to be Zach Levine. And they're back up by one. Marathons are not changing. You're never going to know what's going to come back in there. But you've got to be ready. Green back to Harden. Harden fades back to Green. He shoots over Levine. And it's no good by Green. As another rebound translate for Chicago. Levine outside. Covers by Green. And he goes inside. He takes the reverse layup, and they are up by three. Zach Levine, no, he can definitely handle it, but the player we have to watch out for, maybe White, DeRozan, or anybody, that's going to be their goal. Excuse me, that's a, that was on, that was on, that was on us. Green fades, 
reflected the B gutter ball and he got it through without the shot clock being turned to be a violation they are down to 30 seconds Caruso against Corpons Caruso finds Vucevic and around the attack Vucevic no man finds Caruso and he will get an assist here for another bucket Caruso's got his first assist in this game. Now it's Court Moss. Fades. Back to Harden. Five to shoot. Court Moss. In a drive. Oh, and he dunk it through. What a shot ball moment. That was an epic finish here for the first period. And a score is now 15-14. It's close enough. I think somebody's going to take it through and lead it off for the win. Yeah, you bet. But there might be a lot of players happening. We'll keep an eye on the run when we come back. I think that need to, you know, be more aggressive. Um, you know, just look to impose myself, just look to dominate. I guess I need to go back to having fun and just dominate. And... Well, you've talked about it before, and you know that Joel Embiid, sometimes he has a little difficulty with all this run. Maybe the time that turns out to be the happening before on his aggressive play on offense, he really needs to go for another one. Because they can't lose a man here, and without any regardings, the other players can definitely be up here to take the run and score a drive. Or even a three-pointers, and sometimes the rebounds. Fourth quarter is set to play as we are ready to take the advantage. Korkmaz back to Harden, back to Korkmaz. Four on the shot clock, trying to look free. Here's Millsap, and he did hit that point up, and it will be turned around the other way. White with the ball, trying to force their run inside. Williams, in with the pursuit, almost tipped away. Back to White, right to Thompson. Five to shoot. Green, over Korkmaz. And that's another miss by Chicago. Korkmaz is receiving his first rebound here for the second period of the game. Yay, rolling back to Korkmaz. Harden for three, and it's in and out. That will be missed up here for the three-point opportunity play. Levine slams it down, and while Harden is taking down on the court, they are advancing up by five. Those players could be a lot that higher here if they play you well on offense because you know that is in between the range by those teams. Now the timeout is being called by Philadelphia Sixers as they will need to talk things over a bit on the other hand. And guys, those, those guys could be the only players that wants to face off with the run and make the win. What is your take here? for the Bulls to have the advantage run here since they made had been all the way to the 1999 NBA Finals of this one. Well, I, ex I ex explained it myself. Sometimes I, I really do uh, I really appreciate the Michael Jordan and the other guys. They were the part of the last dance that they have done. But not to worry, they have it all they need. Sometimes they need to do a lot that hard and get the right in the play on the run. But I think the Chicago Bulls can be going back here and try again from the top. I, I obviously might be taking a look a bit, even if the Sixers can try to face another win. These guys are the last dance here. Without Ben Simmons, Andre Drummond, and Seth Curry, we might be seeing what they could definitely do here with those teams. After new changes of the substitution and the fouls reach on Thompson. Tristan Thompson receiving his first foul on Chicago. And then two point two free throws will be on Paul Millsap at the free throw line. Stopping the clock at 326 remaining. Most of the players cannot be uh, handily out there. But if you need to go on a player on defense, and if you're on offense, you would need to know you have to find help. First free throw is good for Millsap. Tristan Thompson, he really got better into it. Most of all, I always hear that Tristan Thompson has received a 
great amount of uh, average of his score ability since the last couple of seasons playing with the other teams. But now for the Bulls, we have to see if it puts up a new record over our last couple of seasons. Here's Dazabu, 3.20 left to play in the first half of the period. White against Harden. White inside, almost dished off too soon. They take it back, White with the ball. In the paint, goes in and it's fouled on Millsap. Millsap receiving his first personal foul and Kobe White will go to the free throw line to shoot two. Kobe White, after playing with the college basketball team of North Carolina Tar Heels, he knows when his average can definitely take on his next run. Maybe for that time, I think we all need to do is to keep him, give him an eye on the pride. First free throw is good for Kobe White. And just like that before, Michael Jordan always plays here after uh, he makes a draft here with the, with the Chicago Bulls. I know that went true, you know. <laughs> after uh, Michael Jordan finishes his, uh, his season, and now it's Kobe White's turn. I'd like to see him play too. The second free throw is missed soft shortly. And now it's Millsap with the ball. Finds Harden. He goes right to Harris. Right over to Fieball. Fieball giving the hand look here on, on Kobe White, but it's taken away by Green with another turnover in Philadelphia. Green on Fieball. And a three second violation called out. That was on Thompson with a bad look at the angle. You can't stay here on the paint that long because if there's a foul coming, you got to get out of the paint and go right from the side of it. Try to find another guard if you're looking for something. Wow, another foul is called on Chicago, and that's Dosimu with the first personal. Another team foul called on Chicago. With only 2.40 remaining, it will be Harden at the free throw line. Harden's not really just trying to look on, a, on his uh, jumping scrimmage here with a cross angle, and sometimes he definitely gets in the paint. He was getting there at that time, but he was not able to... Trying to uh, scoop the layup in the drive. That's because the man on him really give him a pressure. Harden hits the first free throw. The beard man always can get there. What is you guys uh, with the take? Will it be longer than over like three or four? Or, or ten years or so? Uh, I, I'm not sure uh, how many how many uh, years has this this guy have beard. I think we're gonna keep him long, but I don't know about new season if he will ever trim or if he will be keeping the beard even longer like anybody else, except for LeBron James. Green with the ball, Fiebel trying to keep an eye on him. The screen's on Thompson. Millsap on him. Six on the shot clock. Dosabu needs to find a shot right away. With the shot. And it's no good with the three-pointer. It's down Tobias Harris with the ball. Millsap. Right back to Harden. He goes right back to Harris. Moves to Maxi. That goes right to Fievel. Sixers are moving the ball quickly around here to try to avoid the spill. Fireball in a drive, deflected on the player that turned out to be the most. Jones Jr. picking up the first block here in the game. He really doesn't really have any chance to go right into it. I know for his chance player, I guess that does happen. Yeah, definitely indeed, you're right. <laughs> Maxi, can he make it? Rebound by Fiebel, and it will try to retransition here on offense. Maxi finds a bead. A little swip around. A bead on the ball. Locked loose, and it's DeRozan with the steal. Now he goes over to Jones Jr. Harris with him. Dawson with two. Rebound, and it doesn't hit the 
the two-pointer on the board. Maxi to Harris. Five-ball. Harris for three. Got it! Tobias Harris gets a first three-pointer, and now they have the advantage lead for the Sixers. Tobias Harris, he knows all his moves, but sometimes he doesn't really need to know what he goes for. Harris gets denied by the screen, and oh wow, DeRozan goes with the slam, and they are picking back up by one. DeRozan, no, he definitely had that one. I guess that was a tough luck shot. Harden, oh, he lost it! Wow! What a disappointment for Harden. And here's your mobile one block for, for the player of Jones Jr. Jones Jr. has got here very quickly. And I know that happened to him. Sometimes, I know the player gets there really well. And that's a great hustle on defense. After the turnover on the Sixers, it's Caruso with the ball. Just under 40 seconds to play in the first half with a tip block on Korkmaz, but he still has it alive. Vucevic goes with a dunk and he gets slammed on. Maxi forces over to Korkmaz. Now he goes right to Maxi. Maxi right to Niang. Niang, Korkmaz to Maxi. Yeah, inside, and the foul is reached on Vucevic, the third team foul on Chicago. Jones Jr. will be checking out, and a new changeup will be Williams. Maxi with the ball. And B, outside is Green. Tied up. He doesn't hit that one. D. Rosen, last possession in the first half. The V for D3, and it will be off target. So that's the end of the first half. That's just close. It's 24 21, and we'll be right back after this break. Don't go anywhere. The second half will begin after this message. Well, play on the first half. Of course, RJ's got a really good stuff to check out the recap of Sixers and the Bulls. Let's check them out. Right for the first half of the game of the playoff mode. These are the statistics that they finish here in the first. And that should do it. Let's send you back to Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. I'm glad to join us with you guys here as the second half is about to start. But first we take the third quarter. It was Lavigne putting a show in his first game with a drive. Not because of Atlanta Hawks, but this guy. He knows he definitely had a little better. How does Levine know if he can, wants to make a slam dunk contest? We're not sure if he's going to try to do this one again, but wow. How amazing do you have to be? You may not ever never know. And Levine did it again, and that will be the start of the second half for the Bulls. Zach Levine with a better try. Not really sure what he could definitely do for a moment at that time. It gets there true. The beat up. Takes it short, back again, and B gets the ball back. And they're up to trail by three. Ten points for MB, and the other players get right in the work. Oh, and a drive. Yeah, it was easy, and another defensive breakdown. Bulls really know how he can definitely handle that part, but they need to know they got to be careful and go right around the other way. Bible, bad pass as DeRozan takes the ball away. Russo alone, and a foul is called on Maxi. And Bede should have got that ball to make a deflection, but Maxi was right behind him. Alex Caruso really need to know his struggle ability. 
But I find that MB will have the, have the advantage to make it through. It's very hard, but not to, uh, to assume their position. It gets even worse. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good for Caruso. Last season it was Caruso finishing his run with the LA Lakers as they made some new changes to make a couple of them to try to work their way around. And some of a couple players from the Wizards giving it off to the Lakers. Yeah, because of Caruso, his career gets a little bit of an angle. But most of all, Alex Caruso will be able to be so happy to be pleased with if he's with the Wizards. But now, he's gone. Great D by Caruso, but now it's Tyrese Maxi recovering the ball and he will make the drive. Almost lost in a quick second, but that was very fast. Vucevic on MB with a shot. Deny him! Out of the first block goes with MB. MB, a lot of traveling on that call. He really does that one for the first time here in the playoffs. Harris back to Harden. Up to MB. He shoots up. And over missed by the Sixers. MB had it back. Oh boy. And he made that shot. <laughs> I don't believe how this one comes in there. Joella B receiving another pointage. And a next timeout called by Chicago. 3.06 remaining. It's 30. 27. And Bede really knows the hustle. His whole work is paid in the trenches. Not even to sure what his next ability will look like. But that was even more crazy than a tense game how he did. What a nice play he did. And sometimes you can never go wrong with a player of the process of that bead that gets him right around it. Yes, that was the finals MVP for, for the process of that bead. That turned out to be an excellent performance man that played here on 2K Sports. That was a lot of great hustling work here, and I did have fun enjoying this part of the game. Since 2017 of the first season, and then this season of the NBA 2K22. I really enjoyed it the most. Loved it, anyway. Actually, I loved it more than anybody else has ever played it before. You do? Well, yeah, indeed. Yeah, I guess you, I guess I'm agreeing with you. And sometimes you gotta know the hustle of your work. Yeah, exactly. He's Thompson. He has not scored yet, but now he does burn the slam dunk with another two-pointer lead. Harding with the ball on top Bible. And B back to Bible with a three-pointer. It's off and carried out. It's DeRozan with the ball. Never missed here. Not a great work out there. Oh my! Millsap has officially got a piece of it. And they are turning around the other way. Harris goes in the other way. And they are dunking it through in the paint. Tobias Harris really knows this stuff. After the block by Millsap, I know what he says. On number two for DeRozan, and they are trying to work their way up. Bible working your way around, and it gets off in a wit on a weird shot. DeRozan on Embiid. Moves over to White. White advancing the paint. And a two-point advantage score for White comes in there. And DeMar DeRozan will take the assist. Sometimes that DeMar DeRozan really gets there in the angle. We are unable to know what DeRozan gets into it. And for that time, it doesn't help, help us if you're playing on offense or defense. Five short on a three, and he didn't have the look of his advantage. Bill Sapp. Now Levine, inside, he deflected it! Another block by the Sixers, and it's now on Fievel. Fievel had it all. You know he had it. 
Nice D called on the Rosen, and a no foul is given up on Chicago yet. Green on Millsap. Trying to work a steal, but doesn't have it. D. Rosen, and a scoring drive, and the next timeout will be called by the Sixers to talk it over. Green nose. Green mark, green light, green shot. Just got it into it. A big new substitution going for the Sixers and the Bulls as they will need to switch it up here for Green and DeRozan. And the other team too, MB is checked out. Korkmaz with the fade, Harden, Green for three. Answers back, and they are bound to get back underway here. It's almost done for the third quarter into the fourth quarter. What a hustle work out there for Danny Green. He knows his drive is turned out by Green Light. Kobe White on Harris. He goes to Thompson. Thompson on Korkmaz. Around it. And he will have an advantage for number two. They're up by eight. And Harden, he will try to do it around the other way again. Now he goes back to Harden. Harris, deep three, won't be enough. And they are gonna need to try that one again on defense. It's too much control to put in there because you're not gonna make sure, you're not gonna let them leave the ball alone. You gotta pick it up and then go right in the hustle. And a best defensive drive by mobile one block of Jones Jr. Jones Jr. really has no pace of him so far. And with that one, he is like on the money. 10 seconds left here for the third quarter. Mayambo. Bounce pass to Vucevic. And an easy bucket here for Vucevic. Harden will have to leave it off from here. The third quarter is done. 42-32. Philadelphia trailing by 10. And we'll catch you on a break here when we come back after this message. And here's a quick coach talk for Doc Rivers. Oh man, I know that Doc Rivers really needs to call for another look here on offense. Pass the ball around. Also, they, they really didn't want to make any mistakes out there with the transition. As for joining us here for the fourth quarter, we're glad you have us back with you here us today. As we are all almost finished yet. Right now, Green and other teams are trying to look for the shot. And without looking for another turnover, it will be happening again if the Bulls win or Sixers with the first game of the win. Next foul is being turned out, and the two two free throw lines will be on by their by Omu. Dismu hasn't able to shoot the free throws yet, but now he will after the foul has been released on Tyrese Maxey. The scoring breakdown is turning out to be just like that. 32 in the paint and 22 for the point in the, for the penalty box. Sometimes it doesn't work that well. And you're going to need to know what your man is up to. Keep your eye on him. Don't let him come near the rim to take the shot. Or else, that could be easy on them to try to work their way on the score. To make the pressure look even more tricky. Dismayu hitting two free throws, and now we'll be extending it up again. Maxi right to Korkmaz, right over to Nye. Now Maxi in the corner, trying to look their way through. Back to Korkmaz. And it's almost tipped, but he has the ball back. Five to shoot. Nye. Maxi. Shot's good. And it's Nye with the assist. Maxi gets his third bucket, and they are trying to find a close call in the first game. They really do. They really got to get, get going. They got to start working on it. Williams on Yang. Screen rejected. Williams got a piece of that one, 
and a great solid D on Danny Green. Crookbaz finishing the drive and a solid D here on Alex Caruso. Alex Caruso really has gotten a lot much better than, than before. Oh man, with the alley -oop. I totally see that one coming. That was Kobe White. Jones Jr., I meant. I'm so sorry. Well, <laughs> different hairstyle, I guess. Yeah, you're right. Tobias Harris, nice squeak in for a number two point score. And they are still trying to work their way around. Chicago leading by five. And now they're trying try to find another way to get there. Three pointer, extending the lead for Chicago. Timeout on Sixers with three minutes left. Chicago Bulls looking for an upset here in the first game. There might be a huge problem. Sometimes right now, those players need to get some hydration, and now you need to find another way to get through it. Yeah, Franklin the dog is having, having fun out there. Not sure what they're going to do, but this may be the first loss that they might be putting it up here in the game. Three blocks for the Sixers, four turnovers for Philadelphia, and only two for Chicago. They only got one, but they didn't pick it up another one if they're going to try to uh, even up the blocks. Three steals for the Chicago. They already dominate their run in the in the epic performance run. 14 assists, nine assists, for an uh, even score of rebounds with 13. Yeah, we we're definitely going to get crazy here for the Sixers to get to get shut shut out here for the first game. But sometimes shutting it down here for the Bulls may not be happening. Now Embiid will be getting back onto the court. And Harden, of course, will have the ball handle in the Everlane. Green! Oh man, he was going to make that dunk, but now he just went right around and says, Nope, I won't hit you. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, but that's alright. Embiid got that piece of that one! Oh, and he couldn't be able to answer it back as Vucevic had that score and drive. Yeah, Vucevic did have it all. I know what he's gonna do. He's gonna definitely try to handle it. And once again, no foul called on Chicago as DeRozan got a clean D. Yeah, it looks like they cleaned the fence, but really had it all. I don't think it's ever gonna happen. We had Vucevic scoring with the drive. And they are gonna try to make the win here in the first game. Green, bad on the angle. Dasibu, on the other hand, Harden with the ball, and it goes with a foul on reach. Now the new changes here will be Levine and White subbing out in, in for Green and Caruso. Only two of one remaining in the fourth quarter of the first game. Now he goes right to White, inside. And a bad layup with the floater. Maxi to Harris, damns it through, and he got that dunk in there. The paint won't be happening here. If they keeps it up here with Tobias Harris on the run, the score will not be appreciated for the air to anybody who can do it better. Levine in the paint, deflected away. And it turns around the other way as the Chicago another turnover. Oh, he just broke it! In. Tobias Harris is keeping the points alive, and they're not done yet. Yeah, it looks like Tobias Harris really got a good workout there. But I don't know if it's gonna if they're gonna keep scoring it again. Levine finds White. A minute and twenty remaining in the fourth. And it's Kobe picking up a two-pointer here. Yeah, they're honestly doing it again because most of the time, they they can't find the events that they're looking for. And Tyrese Maxey scoring with a layup drive didn't have it all. Delsimu will have to try to work their right around. Lucy Mitch on Embiid. alley -oop. Lost the ball! It doesn't go in there. And it's turned away as the Sixer will have the possession. Alley-oops are really, really tricky. You have no idea which controllers are definitely uh, put right. Well, 
If you uh, if you find any day, well, you're going to need to know which controllers to use for the alley -oop. Harden around Vucevic, and I will go inside. Harden has that one in there, and now they are trying to work their way up. White with the ball. Finds Dasamu again. Harris to flex it wide. Harris, right to MB. Back to Harris. Maxi with the ball. Finds Harris. In with the fade. Finds MB. Inside. It's good. And a personal will be reached on James Harden and a last change for the Bulls. Last timeout will be called by the Sixers that will be reaching up here for their final timeout. All the players have checked in so far and joining us with the last game of the first game, it will be the Mavericks versus the Jazz at Dallas in American Airlines Center. We will be seeing our great coverage here from me, me phone, and of course, the other sponsors as well. Also with uh, OJ, Test 2, or any of those ever guys. But it's a lot of fun that we definitely enjoyed it, right? Yeah, I think, I think so. We all really enjoyed it that much. Not just anybody, but everybody really loves it. And I agree, most of that time really gets things better. Most of the players really have a lot of uh, skills they pick, but sometimes they really get into a wild up play. And that might be another defeat on the other guys who would really come up here with the ball and try to knock their way around. And now it's time to present the New Balance player of the game. This one goes out to Zach Levine. You always know that Zach Levine really has dominated their effort. And with that run, Zach Levine with a start, and he knows the start of the first game of the playoffs. He really dominates this run, and they're on the and they're on the run, taking the upset in the game one. And we will see if other games come to him to life. Now, here's DeRozan. DeRozan trying to work his way around inside. Screen on Vucevic. He finds Vucevic for three, and that will go in there. The Bulls are extending the lead by ten, and the time is running out for the Sixers. Five over three. Answers it, but it won't be enough to pick. And that will end the game with the upsetting score, 58-51. Chicago leading the series 1-0. And we will have to stick around later for the second game in Philadelphia, which is right here on that game. Now let's sketch you up here with Allie LaForce on the sideline. Allie? Thanks so much. DeMar, a big time road win for you guys. How were you able to get it done? Everything about aggressive, both hands. We knew it was going to be tough. Um, it's a great team. We understood if we came in here play with the intensity that we know how to play with, uh, we can walk out of here with a victory. You match that intensity. Congrats on the win. All right, Allie. Thank you, Allie. And for DeMar DeRozan, he knows that uh, he's in the top three. But we'll see how this running score comes in by. And I bet they might be. Not just will, but they might get into a run. Bulls with the win, and they will have to find another way to head on in game two. We will see the next time for the next game. Now let's present the three star players of the game, starting with OJ. Thank you very much. Number three, we also have this just a, a, a stunnable run, and with all the questions asked, who was it? Well, the answer we called for is Joel Embiid. The second time, just like regular season, four blocks. Just amazing that turned out after the, after the loss against the Phoenix Suns. And 14 points here on the board, 7 rebounds, 1 assist, just got better. We're doing really well with MB in the process of my guy. Let's take on number 2, Mephone. Thank you very much. Number 2, we have uh, bowls that turned out to be just not anybody. But, Ed, but this one, of course, goes to him. Nikola Vucevic, 11 points, 4 rebounds, and 2 assists. Just got better at that point. At just only one performance dunk. 
Now let's catch up into number one player of Son of Beast. I know what you're thinking, but all the player goes out to him. All hail Zach Levine, the New Balance player of the game. 19 rebounds, one rebound, and one assist. Just 22 performance run, including two dunks. I don't know what's that point with this guy, but I know he's definitely getting better. I like to see the 360 windmill if he gets there by, so I'm not going to lie. But hopefully, we can get, keep an eye on him if he does a 360 windmill. Yeah, I guess so. I think we're all going to love it too. And match it, it be concluded for the NBA playoffs in the Eastern Conference first round. I'd like to thank you all for watching. For those of you who are on YouTube and have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel now or else somebody will. And we'll be able to just keep it going without even liking Chris on a guy. We weren't appreciated that much, but uh, you, you could be fine. Well, <laughs> I don't have to say about that anyway, but that's all it counts. So thank you, OJ, for uh, coming with us and support us. You may head home. Thank you very much here. I'll see you guys next time. You too. And me phone with me of Son of Beast. We're gone. This has been a presentation of the NBA playoffs. And tune in for the next last game of the first game. It is the Jazz and Mavericks. Saturday on Son of Beast. This has been a presentation of NBA playoffs and 2K Sports and NBA 2K22. Check out other games that we did in the playoffs that happened here for our last previous games and other days that we have done. With that being said, peace out everyone. For as a while as the NBA playoffs and the NBA 2K22 dial. we like to congratulate for the Bulls with the first win in the playoff game. And we'll see them next time. I'm Son of Beast. Good night. In a burly love of Philadelphia, along with the Chicago of the skyline of the Bulls.